Hey guys, welcome to Indie Game Hustle. In this video for you, Mahler X, if you've ever run into a situation where you wanted to create hallways or maybe like a room or some type of building and you want to, you're not really sure exactly where to start, I think maybe modeling a cube and extruding that cube out and then flipping the UVs actually might be a good way to do. So let me show you a quick way to do it. All right, so right here, I've already modeled out something. And ultimately what I did was, is I created a cube. And then once you have your cube, all you have to do is actually use the extrude tool. So you can use the extrude tool um, by holding down the shift key and pulling on a face in any particular direction. All right. And you can also, if necessary, you can scale as well. So you can hold down the shift key and scale that in. And you can also bring that out like so. So this is a uh, great way to create pretty unique things. So. Once you've kind of modeled out what you want your space to look like, the next step is actually making the outside in. And so what we're really doing is flipping the UVs. Um, and so we want to go ahead and flip the faces of these meshes here, all these faces here. And so what you would do is select all of the faces while you're in the face edit mode, go down to miscellaneous and click on the flip here. All right. And so what that did is simply just flipped your um, mesh. And what I'll do is see if I can I have everything selected. If we go inside, so I'm going to zoom in. And if you notice now, we're kind of inside of this mesh. And this is pretty much looking like a inside of a building or something. But there's one issue. The issue is, is that the roof the ceiling may be a little big. It depends on the scale. If your scale of your character is really small, maybe this is fine. So what we can do is go ahead and um, go ahead and grab that and, uh, and bring it up a little higher. So what I want to do here is go ahead and grab these vertices, and those are all the top ones. I could just go ahead and expand those up like that. And then, of course, you would do this based on your own game. Uh, in your scale of your stuff, right? Great. And so we made that a little larger. And at this point, what we could do is actually delete those faces. So let's see, it looks like I should have all my faces deleted, uh, selected. And so now we have all of those faces on the top of the ceiling deleted. So if you need it to do that, you can. All right. Another thing you can do if you don't want to actually delete the faces, um, what you can do is select all of the faces and you should be able to detach them. So what I'm going to do is go to my detach tool, hold down the alt key. And I want to separate this as its own object. So I'm going to go ahead and do two object and then I'm going to go detach. And so now I have a ceiling. I'll rename it ceiling and that's spelled wrong. But anyway, ceiling, right? And then we have the the building itself. Uh, this is a different object. I'll just delete this one. And then we have the other object. And we don't have to call that anything else because um, we can actually even go another step further and select, uh, separate the floor. But I don't really think I need to do that um, in this instance. All right. And so at this point, now you can come in and do a lot of editing. And we can make some quick, uh, some cool stuff. You can use beveling tools. Say you want to bevel that wall and maybe you want to give it a, a bit of a more rounded feel. So that'd be kind of cool. And then if you really want to make it interesting, you can select all the corners in a certain area. And you can apply that bevel, all the interesting corners that you feel that you would like that to be applied to. So I'll do it to all these corners and then I'll go ahead and hit bevel. And then we even have something that looks like that. It's a bit more uh, maybe futuristic because of the angles, depends on what you're going for, but we can also increase that. Awesome. And so now we have something a bit more interesting, just like that. And that's kind of cool. And so if, if it's still too big or too small, you can move it and scale it as needed. 
So I hope that was easy. I hope that was quick. I hope it was useful. Um, let me know in the comments if you have any questions. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.